Hi there, Drew from Canon here. Are you looking to up your game during live streaming or web conferencing? We've got some tips for you coming right up. What we thought we would do today is give you a few tips on how to take your web conferencing, your vlogging, maybe live streaming or even gaming situation, take your imaging up another level. To do this, you'll need a few things, a camera, a video capture device, and a video or web conferencing software. But why would we wanna do this? Well, right now you can see I'm using the built-in camera on my laptop. And it's not the most pleasing view you can see. You also see everything that's going on in the background. As you can see here, this camera is set to not have a clean HDMI output. You can see all the text, exposure information, and autofocus brackets around my face, which is great when I'm taking pictures and, and filming video, but not so good when I'm live streaming. Next, we're gonna need a video capture card. This camera is outputting through the HDMI, but we have to put that signal into our computer somehow. The video capture card that's easily found online can convert that signal from HDMI to USB. Now let's see how the camera looks with the HDMI out to the video capture card. You can see right now that there is no autofocus information or exposure information on the screen. That's because it's a clean HDMI signal going to the video capture card. You'll also notice a few other things about the image. One, it's a nice, soft, clean background. You'll notice that the background is blurred out. We're using the EOS RP, a full frame imaging sensor here, with a 35 millimeter f1.8 lens. Now, because we're shooting it with this camera, we can shoot a manual setting and we can choose that f1.8 and it blurs out the background. You'll also notice that the camera will track my focus as I move. This is because we have eye and face detection running on the camera as well, something a built-in camera can't do. Now let's see how this camera looks when we go to our web conferencing software. You'll notice here that the camera is set up by default for the onboard camera, the FaceTime HD camera. By clicking the dropdown and choosing the CamLink 4K, that's the video capture device. Click on that, and now we have our camera that we have, our Canon camera, all set for a webcast and live streaming. Now, I know you all don't have a video capture card, and right now they could be a little hard to find online. However, they're getting a little easier to find. We're gonna be updating this site as quickly as we can, as often as we can, to provide you more information on how to connect your Canon camera to do live streaming, vlogging, or web conferencing. So, check back here often. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.